Well, and now that it's here, 7 News reporter Emily Griffin is live at Thompson Park with more details. It's looking <laughs> dark out there this morning. It does. Good morning. It is chilly over here at Thompson Park, but it is the calm before the storm, as they say. We've got a lot of people setting up already. We've got some food trucks. We've got DPW crews. I'm starting to see some of the police presence in preparation for all of our visitors that are going to be joining us today. So yes, it's all starting very early here at Thompson Park, and I'm actually joined by Steve Karen with the SciTech Center. Come on in. Now we have a nice, Hi, yeah, a nice scientific perspective because obviously we know, right? The moon is going to be moving in front of the sun. That's the simple end of it. But is there anything else that you can kind of break down for people who maybe don't know really why or how this happens? Well, as you say, it's the shadow of the uh, uh, of the moon on Earth. That's our, our eclipse. But it's really neat. The moon is about one four hundredth the size of the sun, but it's also one four hundredth the distance to the sun. So it just matches up. And we're just lucky to be alive at this time. Yeah. Uh, the moon is slowly moving away from Earth. So eventually, a couple million years in the future, it won't cover the entire sun anymore. Yeah. So we're at the right time, the right place. Once in a lifetime opportunity truly is. So we're going to have a lot of visitors that want to watch this, but we have to be safe and smart about how we do it. Talk about eye protection and the importance. Right, very definitely. If you look at the sun, you can actually damage your eyes very quickly. So anytime you're looking at the sun, you want to use either safe glasses such as these uh, or one of the other mechanisms. Uh, now we're going to be giving away 1,500 pairs of these today to visitors here at Thompson Park. So hopefully everyone will be protected. Yes, there's plenty of opportunities. And one of the things that's on the little handle of those is, I think, an ISO identifier that makes that's sure correct. that they are legit. So just check, check your glasses if you haven't gotten them yet and make sure they're legit. Any other words of wisdom for people who are really super excited about this event? Well, this is, a, as you say, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and we're just so lucky. The next time you'll see one here in, uh, in Watertown won't be until 2399. That's a little bit far in the future. <laughs> so let's enjoy it, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to stake out here at Thompson Park for a little while longer, but for now, we'll send it back to the studio.